Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Nick Ross. Um, AMBF Pro Nick Ross of Body of Legends. Gotta get used to saying AMBF Pro because I won my show, guys. If you don't know, I won FitCon. I am now a pro for the AMBF organization, natural. And that's awesome. But I'm not here to talk about FitCon. I'm here to talk about my second show, Fitness Extravaganza. So, Everyone knows when I started this prep, I was aiming to do two shows, FitCon, which I won, and Fitness Travaganza, which is actually tomorrow, June the 7th, today is June the 6th, and FitCon was in Dallas, Texas, Fitness Travaganza is in Grand Cayman, my hometown. I was competing in two shows, but people see me bulking, people are like, what were you doing, aren't you competing in two shows, you know, why are you bulking, you know, you're supposed to be competing, you know, next week, you know, you're bulking now, like, are, did you drop out, you know, what, are you a type of hypocrite, you say you're going to do something, you're not going to do it, what's wrong, let me explain, I'll tell you why I'm not, I'm not competing, <clears throat> fitness extravaganza needed five competitors minimum, per category for the category to exist five competitors minimum if they do not get five competitors minimum per category the category will get cancelled okay every category had five or more competitors except the bodybuilding category bodybuilding category only had two competitors sign up me and the other guy the other guy so if you can't get five competitors, they're going to cancel the category, which is what happened to the bodybuilding category. So it's not the fact that I dropped out or it's not the fact that I just didn't want to compete. The category got canceled, so I can't compete. You know, what do you want me to do? Um, I don't want to compete in men's physique. I'm not into men's physique. I'm a bodybuilding competitor. I'm not a men's physique competitor. Uh, maybe in the future I'll give it a try, but as of right now, that's not where my heart is. So... You know what? I was looking to compete at Fitness Travaganza. I was excited. I was prepping for two shows, FitCon and that. But, you know, it got canceled. Lack of competitors. You know, they didn't come out. Um, and, you know, it's unfortunate. It really is. But, you know, like I say, though, I mean, Fit FitCon was the show. You know, it was the show that, you know, I was ball to the walls in. Uh, fitness Travaganza, it was a second show where, you know, I can just kind of compete at. I mean, I was ready I was ready in shape, and the show was like two weeks away, so why not? I mean, it's in my hometown, two weeks away, I'm in shape, you know, whatever, let's do it. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's disappointing that, you know, we couldn't get enough guys to come out and compete. It really is. Um, I kind of see this shift from bodybuilding to men's physique because the men's physique category down here is just overwhelming competitors I, like it's like 11 or 12 or 15 or I don't know it's a lot of competitors um all local and it kind of sucks that we could not get that same response for the bodybuilding category um you know I kind of grew up in an era or I'm growing up in an era right now where bodybuilding is kind of taking a back seat to men's physique you know people are now <clears throat> Sorry, wanting to compete in men's physique more than bodybuilding. And I mean, I can't really blame them, you know. The men's physique, physique is more obtainable. You know, that smaller muscle look, but still lean and shredded. You know, that is more obtainable than a bodybuilding physique because the level of conditioning that you have to bring, the muscularity, you know, the, um, the detail and, you know, you have to pay close attention to your, your symmetry. You know, making sure all the muscles are balanced and symmetrical. I mean, there's a lot that goes into bodybuilding that you don't really need to prioritize in men's physique. So I can understand why. But regardless, you know, I mean, men's physique, it's, it's a good shift. I mean, you know, the average Joe can obtain a men's physique, physique more than a bodybuilding physique. So it's good for the world. It's good for inspiration. And I'm not against it at all. But that's why I'm not competing in fitness extravaganza. So that's why I'm not going to do my second show. You know, category got canceled. But nonetheless, I hope it is a great show. Um, I hope, you know, K-Man sees, you know, what fitness is and they're inspired to, you know, jump on the bodybuilding side of it next year or a year from now, two years from now, whatever. But, you know, I'm still happy that I competed at FitCon and I won. Like I say, that was a show and that was a goal and I accomplished that. 
So that is it guys, that's why I am not doing my second show. But don't be disappointed. Um, I do have some future competition plans that I will update you guys on. Be looking out for that video. This is Nick Ross, Body of Legends. Tune in to next time. Bye-bye.